Uh, hello friends, I'm solving a problem from time and work section over here. Uh, the problem has been sent by a student and the student has requested not to use paper and pen to solve this problem. So I try to do that. Uh, the concept is really simple. Just read the problem carefully. A and B can do a job in 8 days. B and C can do the same job in 12 days. A and B, 8 days. B and C, 12 days. A, B, C can do the job in 6 days, right? So, uh, we are aware of the 3 uh, facts over here. A and B combined capacity, B and C combined capacity, and A, B and C combined capacity, right? Now, the first question is, in how many days A alone can do the job? Now, that's pretty simple. You really do not need any paper and pen to solve this problem. Now, just listen to me carefully. See, A, B, C can do the job in 6 days. Okay, and B and C can do the same job in 12 days. Now, we just take these two statements. Now, listen to me carefully. Uh, B and C take 12 days to complete the work. That means in 6 days, B and C working together will do half of the work. That is 6 by 12, half of the work. That And the work is completed in 6 days. B and C are doing half of the work. That means A is also doing half of the work. That means A is doing half of the work in 6 days. That means A can do the entire work in 12 days. Right? So you know, don't need any paper and pen to solve this problem. A, capacity of A uh, or we can say A can do the entire work all alone in 6 days. Okay? Uh, I'm sorry, 12 days. Similarly, in how many days B alone can do the job? Now, A and B can do the job in 8 days. A alone can do the job in 12 days. That means in 8 days, A will be doing 8 by 12 or I can say um, 2 by 3rd of the work. Right? And in 8 days, the work is getting completed. A is doing 2 thirds of the work. That means 1 third of the work is being done by B. That means B can do 1 third of the work in 8 days. That means entire work he can do in uh, 24 days. Right? One third work in eight days, that means entire work in 24 days. So once again, no paper and pen is required. Similarly, in how many days C alone can do the job? Now we can use this one, uh, B and C. Now B alone can do the entire work in 24 days. That means in 12 days, B will be doing half of the work. That means C will also be doing half of the work. So C will be doing half of the work in 12 days. So C also can do the entire work in 24 days. So that's pretty simple. Now, one more question can be asked. Uh, a and B is given, B and C is given. A and C, how many days? C, B and C equal capacity, right? So, whatever uh, number of days or uh, uh, A and B uh, are taking, the same number of days will be taken by A and C. So, A and C will also take 8 days to complete the work if they work, uh, like A and C work together. Okay, so I hope you are clear.